Okay, we are watching Gamescom together. I'm very excited to see what they have. I think I'll put this up on the gaming channel because I think I have to delete this because of like copyrighted music and stuff. I have to delete, to delete this from Twitch, so. If you watched this stream, no you didn't. Actually, should I put chat up here? I'll put chat up here. Hello, chat! <laughs> They're here! I love lemon candies, they're so good. It's so yummy. Hi, YouTube! <clears throat> YouTube, I have phlegm. I've been coughing all morning. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I've been coughing a lot. I already replaced the crunchy, but thank you. Yeah, anything lemon, I'm like, mmm. Lemonade, lemon candy, lemon pastries. Yeah, I love like sour stuff. Like I love apples and raspberries and anything sour. I'm like, woohoo, very happy. Avery's still in Gamer Flem. You're already on the right track. Asian came in here earlier um, and was like, hey, asking for a friend, how much for some Gamer Flem? And I was like, say no more. I'll conjure some up right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't anticipate seeing anything I'm super excited about. Like, I don't think they're gonna show Just Dance because usually before they announce Just Dance, they have like teasers on their Twitter account. Like they'll tease it for like a week before and there's been nothing. So I don't think they're gonna show Just Dance. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything I'm super excited about. I guess if, if there's like new IPs that we haven't heard of. Oh <laughs> yeah, it's more skate. It's gonna be a Mass Effect reveal. No, it's not because I'm actually streaming this time. I specifically did not stream the Game Awards uh, last year or the year before or whatever. I think it was 2020 because I was like, it's always the same. Like I don't. I don't care to watch it if it's always the same. And that's the year they announced the new Mass Effect? I was so mad. I was like, the one year I should have been streaming. <clears throat> this is an 18 plus disclaimer. If you're not 18, you have to turn off the internet and go outside. Sorry. <clears throat> How is volume chat? Hi, Kamara. Hi, sunshine. Please welcome to the stage Jeff the Keely. Of the Game Awards, Jeff Keely. Jeff Keely is just the gaming industry's dad now. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking anyway. Oh my God! Hello, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? It is so great to have a live crowd with us here in Cologne, Germany, for Gamescom 2022. I'm Jeff Keeley, and I gotta say, I am so excited to be here with you. So weird to we see a live this audience this big again. In person in so in weird. The past two years, we had to do it virtually from Los Angeles. And do we have subtitles? The first show that my team did together live was that August, Gamescom, and we connected with all of you virtually. And the fact that we're back here in person, <clears> I don't want to ever take this for granted before. So, uh, guys, are you ready for a fun show? <laughs> well. I gotta say, we have a lot of great stuff. I'm gonna be using tonight. my foot pedal all stream. Tons of world premieres. <laughs> the entire industry has come together to showcase the future for games. We've got games like Sonic Frontiers, I can't wait. <laughs> the Callisto Protocol. Yeah, no worries, Annie. <clears throat> trials, Hogwarts oh, Callisto Legacy, Protocol will be Knights, so cool. And a lot of surprises of things that we didn't talk about in advance. So we Just got Dance 2023? Here at Gamescom. <laughs> Me, the and only one in the crowd being like, just dance. We've got two hours of stuff, so should we just get right to it? It is two hours. That's not bad. All right. <clears throat> I, I feel like sometimes the Game Awards crowd, are like and three crowd, hours or something. We got to surprise you with some stuff tonight, too. So let's start things off with our first world. That premiere. lighting is it's not great. It's not making him look very good. a new team that has a bold vision. <clears throat> let's check this out. Yo, bold vision. World premiere. We want the community to build this. We want it to be their worlds. We want them to tell their stories in their game. 
I think it's human nature to navigate uncharted territory, to find a place where we're free to explore. <gasps> oh, nice! I'm glad you're here. Share amazing experiences. The goals are to make an experience that's unlike any other, which is such an exciting thing to be part of. I think ultimately, like that's kind of been the big ambition is to create this kind of like open world that can be built out in every direction. I think it's every day is a new discovery and it's constantly growing. We've put a lot of focus, I think, on the current zeitgeist and what it means to represent yourself digitally. This is more than a game. It's a labor of love. It's a labor of passion. The dream is to create a whole new world for the next generation of gamers. And I think that we've we've kind of captured that. Players will play a massive part What is this? It's not going to be just our game. It's not going to be just what we decide to do with it. There's something in it that will definitely appeal to you, no matter what it is that you love to do. The really thrilling aspect of all this is that people are going to get to see what we're doing for the first time. But what is it? <laughs> for people to see what we've been spending the last five years pouring our hearts and souls into. And I'm excited to see how they feel about it. Even though they will have to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, but what is it? more than just a video game for us. And today, we're delighted to give you a peek behind the curtain at what we've been working on. Which is what? <laughs> what are we looking at? <laughs> Just tell us. This kind of reminds me of Genshin. I haven't played it before, but it reminds me of Genshin. <clears throat> Everywhere is. Have they announced this before? <clears throat> that told me absolutely nothing about this game. <laughs> it told me absolutely nothing. My my biggest pet peeve is there like vagueness. I'm sure you've got a ton of like I am not a Hideo Kojima fan because I'm like this makes no sense to me. <laughs> answer some of those because. I we're a little confused, but we want to know a lot about this. So yes, us, uh, a little confused. Everywhere, what kind of game is that? Can you tell us, Adam? Well, firstly, can I just say it's really exciting to just be here, and we've been looking forward to coming out of stealth mode and really delighted to start the conversation today. <laughs> Foot pedaling. Now, I won't be able to reveal everything, but what I can say is that really we're not trying to make a normal game. I think the scope and ambition of this project are quite unlike anything else. We want to build a whole new world for gamers. And not just I feel like sometimes play. games just Watch, aren't ready share, to be announced. Create, hang out with your you know what I mean? And so much more. Well, I gotta say, uh, the end of the trailer, I think like, we all were taken aback by, whoa, change, change art style, this seems totally different. What, is that part of everywhere? What can you tell us? Well, Jeff, that's one of the many surprises we've got in store for players. I mean, we are passionate about making games and telling stories. I feel so bad that they probably are pressured by publishers to be like, you have to announce this at Gamescom. You have to. We're going to miss our chance. But it's like they've got nothing to show. <clears throat> they have nothing to show. It's not their f it's not the developer's fault at all. But like, and everywhere is a place that can happen. All right. Well, it definitely a bold uh, vision for what you're doing here. Uh, the other question I'm sure we're all wondering is we didn't see any date on the trailer. Any sense of when we're going to get to play this thing? Where are you at? They don't even have anything well, to show. How do we know when it's coming out? We have everywhere in the hands of players in 2023. But we've got many more things to show and tell over the coming months. And we're really excited for you to sign up on our website, everywhere.game. Really I would cry if I had just started making a game <laughs> and it wasn't ready to be shown. And the publishers we're really were like, too bad. Gamescom's coming up. You got to show it. As soon as possible. I would Adam, cry. Thank you for sharing the reveal here at Gamescom. It's awesome to have so many European That's what I was thinking, dude. Stage. If it's coming out next year yeah, and they have nothing to show, it's getting delayed for games, sure. Uh, for the first time. And right now, we're going to move to another world premiere announcement. World premiere. Don't tell Asian Sensation or he'll bring out the vodka or tequila or whatever he was drinking. Vodka, he, he does this thing where when he watches the Game Awards, he takes a shot every time they say world premiere. And it's... It's a danger to your liver. <laughs> I must not fear. This looks Star Wars y. Fear is the mind killer.
Who's this? Is it Dune? <laughs> I was thinking Mandalorian. That's where my mind went. <clears throat> I'm not surprised we're getting a Dune game, to be honest. <laughs> just Dance? Can we say that for every game? Oh my god, this is it, you guys. It's Just Dance 2023. <laughs> what is going on? As someone who never watched Dune or read Dune, I'm very confused. <laughs> Who are you? Damn, his the eyes are has gone past. blue. The inner eye to see its path. Where the fear is gone, there will be nothing. Whoa! Wee! <laughs> Only I will remain. Dune is what inspired Star Wars? Really? That looked kind of cool. I don't know anything about Dune, but that looked really cool. <clears throat> Dude, I looked at the first Dune book and I was like, no, too long. <laughs> My attention span could never. Oh, it's an MMO! could be kind of cool but MMOs Trust are always me, so fun is just wild at launch tonight all right how many of you out there are fans of PlayStation <laughs> I just platinumed well, the quarry the other day a fun surprise for you I said PlayStation what can we do for all the fans come together here at is Game it PlayStation Star? VR and right now I'm honored to share this global PlayStation announcement with you right here at Gamescom is it VR because they announced it the other day yeah Asian is shitting his pants right now <laughs> Where is he? I think he's working, actually. I shouldn't be like, where is he? <laughs> he's working his job to pay his mortgage. Oh, is it not VR? Is it a new controller? Why are there buttons on the bottom? <laughs> I'm so confused! What? DualSense Edge. Edge. What are the bottom buttons for? There you go. The DualSense Edge. It's a high performance ultra <laughs> Will <it> edge me? <laughs> wireless PlayStation 5 controller. I'm edging, I'm edging. <laughs> and you Sorry. See you can have your own uh, custom control profiles uh, customized to your play style. And if you guys want to learn more about the brand new controller, you can head That's to That's pretty cool for accessibility if you can make your own that announcement profile for Gamescom. All right, next That's cool. up, the Callisto Protocol. You guys yeah. have fun game? Give me more space games! Wow! So joining me now is Glenn Schofield from Striking Distance. Uh, Glenn, we are so excited about this game coming out in December. You came all the way over. Yeah, the PS5s are all still in shortage, time. right? We really appreciate it. Uh, how is the response? <laughs> this is just Dance so for far? sure. Man, Jeff, the uh, response has been fantastic uh, for a new IP. I couldn't ask <clears> for anything more. Uh, so I want to thank Who the is developing and, and publishing uh, Callisto I, I Protocol? I want to thank my team for uh, just really killing it and. It's great to be back at Gamescom, man. You know. Well, you got some good stuff for the fans, and we're gonna get to developed that in a by second. Striking um, Distance and published by Crafton. Gameplay. We saw some great stuff at Summer Game Fest. You brought. I've never heard of either of them. I'm today. so excited. Yeah, got, uh, Old some, Dead Space uh, people. Gameplay. Uh, we've got two sections. The first one is. Gonna That's really some, exciting. Uh, some crazy combat, and uh, the second one is uh, something new uh, from the game. A little different than what we've shown with a uh, pretty crazy ending. Yes, it is. You guys are going to love this. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about was you're known certainly in the team for your work on Dead Space. In that game, we love the strategic dismemberment. I understand you're kind of one-upping things. Strategic for dismemberment. Well, we dismemberment. <laughs> what kind of dismemberment we're we getting in this game? Um, <clears throat> today, we're going to show a couple new things, uh, including one that we're showcasing called mutations. So uh, the enemies may sometimes have these tentacles that come out. And if you don't shoot them, take them out on time, uh, this you had me at tentacles. Going to mutate in front of you into something bigger, better, faster, meaner, and he's going to be taking you out. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm sold. Well, this is one of my most <laughs> anticipated games. It's coming out this December. Glenn, thanks to your <laughs> team for putting this together. Let's take a look at brand new game. I know the they haven't Protocol. delayed it. <clears throat> Thank you. Or at least I don't know if they've delayed it before, but they haven't delayed it. Streamer, what the fuck? Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh wow, you can really tell this was made by the same people as Dead Space. Oh, the lighting is so creepy! Did he just- oh, Holy shit! You got wood chipped, buddy. <laughs> I'm glad there's a stealth aspect. I don't remember there being a stealth aspect in Dead Space 1, but I haven't played it in so long that I could be wrong. Ew! <laughs> Gross. Oh, you can use him as a shield? Blech. This looks gross as hell. I can't wait to play it. <laughs> I'm on board. He's headless and he's still fighting? If they won't even die from the head, then what are you supposed to do? Everything I know- oh my god, it's tentacles. His head is tentacles. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He grew a head back from the tentacle. No! No. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Uh oh. Bath time. Wee. These are some of my favorite sections in video games where you're falling and you have to like move left and right. I don't know why. I just like these. They're fun. Tomb Raider, the reboot games have great like stressful scenes where you're supposed to like run and jump onto some tiny little board and then you fall into something. Oh God, <laughs> damn. <laughs> He's getting smacked around. That's not a sewer that's packed east. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew, that's TwitchCon EU. Oh my God. <laughs> EU, more like PU, am I right guys? <laughs> I say to my mostly European audience. <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> oh! Oh! He'll make it through. It's just, it's just a flesh wound. He'll make it through. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. He's fine, see, he's on the cover, he's fine. Great, so now we know he dies. <laughs> they just spoiled the uh, game. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Oh, the lighting looks much better. For you, but right now I At the beginning, Jeff looked like he was OL. telling a ghost story. Melly, Melly, welcome to ONL. Thanks, Jeff. I was so excited to be here. I love when they're talking to each other Hello, from like a everybody. mile away. <laughs> I'm your guide for tonight. Hello, for Ellie. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm really, really excited to be here because the I love her dress. Gaming is beating once again, and game devs and Oh my God! What is happening to the captions? Hello, captions. To show you hundreds of new games. So, if what is going on with the captions? And still can come by. So what are you doing, guys? If you are sure not here yet, then still can't come be made. And one of the highlights we have this year. Oh uh, yeah, I got nothing for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> what is going on? And devs closer together than anywhere else in the world. And, <laughs> they just uh, gave up. It's fine. I'll I'll turn them off for now, and here. we'll try them again in a few minutes. <laughs> You can also Get on the keyboard in the office. Type in. Online at Gamescom Global. Jeff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I have no too. idea what she said. Right <laughs> I wasn't listening. World premieres. This next one. World premiere. Been waiting for for a long time to see. Just Dance 2023. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mass Effect Skate. defeated its overlord. But gods do not fall forever. Game of Thrones, MMORPG, free to play. And the 
began the eternal watch over their tyrant's colossal remains. Some forces, even death, cannot end. But now, eons later, the fallen gods' influence pervades. It looks just like Just Dance. <laughs> Rem, I can't run ads! Uh, the only ad I have is that uh, we have a gaming channel now if you want to go subscribe. I've been putting up gameplays on there. I'm very proud of it if you want to go subscribe. Thank you. There's your ad. <clears throat> Though from these darkest Thank you. Days, new heroes arise. To defy the gods, one must embrace the darkness. And so lies our own. I hate saying this because, like, obviously, so many people work on this, and it's not to, like, diminish their work. But when I see ideas like this, I'm like, it looks just like everything else out there. Like, it does not look interesting i don't know it all just kind of starts blending together to me i guess yeah we're for sure deleting this vod now <laughs> that's okay it's going up on gaming channel it's fine again i'd like context earlier in the trailer damn yeah i it's obviously just a different preference, like everybody likes different things, but I hate it when there's no context. Like that first trailer, I'm like, I don't know anything about what's going on, so I'm not interested. It was the same when um, Death Stranding was coming out, all the trailers, I was like, I don't care about this because I don't know what this is about. It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> so. Ugh. Oh, good luck. The lords of the fallen. Wishless now. I feel bad for saying it because so many people work on it, and it's not to diminish their work because it looks like a beautiful trailer, but like it just looks like everything that's else right. that's they out there. The, two. Uh, the, the lords of the fallen. Uh, all right, now it's time for another new game announcement. The sequel to a game that redefined the term couch co-op. Check this out. Redefined couch cop. That reminds me of It Takes Two. Are you struggling? Oh, is it moving out? Your regular FARTs? FART. Have you tried going online? Visit exotic destinations. Move your dreams, whoever you are. Is it moving uh, out? No I never played this, but no I heard worries. it's really fun. Everybody's <clears> welcome. <throat> You're hired. Open a door of new opportunities. Work alone or with a friend. Or two or more. This was a game made for me because I love moving. You can do it. Don't know how to explain it. I love moving. I think it's so I think it's so fun. <laughs> I love packing. I love unpacking. I love moving. Nice Big fan fun. of moving. I don't know why. <laughs> Watched Agent play this, I think. Oh! Oh! We were just calling for you like five minutes ago. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I like games like this, but cooking or what was it called? Um, what's the cooking one? Where it's basically this, but with cooking. Overcooked. Overcooked yes, stresses me out. It stresses me out so much. <laughs> Uh, well, well, it is coming out in February of 2023, <laughs> and tonight at uh, Gamescom, the, the brand new I don't trailer really, for you to take a look at. I don't but, want to say much and spoil much. This is an incredible trailer. I hope you enjoy <laughs> it. Uh, this is like, <laughs> this is the game I dreamed of having as a kid, and now J.K. Rowling has just like ruined it. The Truly, will be. has just completely ruined it. Either of you uses ah, magic, thank you, chaotic. Thank you for fifty-one months. I appreciate it. I kind of, yeah, I kind of just want to go pee. So <laughs> for a reason, a spell that can save your life. <laughs> nice routine. <laughs> what other ads do I say? I don't even. Yeah, I'm just gonna mute it. I, I'm just gonna mute it until they're done because I know like if anybody wants to see the the trailer go watch the Gamescom stream But like I just can't dude. 
I just can't, dude. She's been, uh, JK's been such a shitty person for years, and I'm just like, I can't. Like, it's just ruined for me. It makes me so sad. Um, ad time. I don't know. Uh, she is extremely transphobic. She is what's called a TERF, which is uh, trans exclusive. No. Hold on. I'm just going to look it up. TERF meaning. It's like exclude. It's like feminist, but you exclude trans people. Um, a feminist who excludes the rights of transgender women from their advocacy of women's rights. Uh, I'm looking for like the actual trans exclusionary radical feminist. <clears throat> so she's like, I'm only a feminist for like cisgendered women, which she considers to be real women. And it's just so fucking disappointing, dude. It's so fucking disappointing. Like, I know that, like, technically it does not, like, affect me because I am a cisgendered woman, but it clearly affects so many trans women. And it's like, you can't be a feminist. You cannot be a feminist un unless you include trans women and black women and disabled women and queer women. Like they all have to be, they all have to be included. So she's just awful. Anyways, Borderlands. Woo! Well, I got good news. I know uh, some of you hardcore folks saw the leak, uh, but I'm here to officially announce new Tales from the Borderlands. Yeah! So, remember Tales from the Borderlands. This is new Tales from the Borderlands. This Tales from the Borderlands? Story. It is. You know, I loved the original Let me see game, if closed captions so working again. that's why we got some of the original storytellers. It's working! Yay! Um, Tales from, from the Borderlands is the funniest game I've ever played uh, to the point where I actually uh, laughed uh, out loud playing it by Kimbox myself. Studio, it's so funny. Uh, it's an all new experience <clears throat> and uh, we're here to show it for the first time. I'm today. so excited for this. Out? I'm so excited That's for this. Good. I know soon, compact right? sent That's it to right. me a few uh, days ago. October of this year. October Woo! this year, all platforms. Awesome. October? Let's take a look, Randy. This is exciting. New Tales from the Borderlands. Oh my first God. I'm so out. excited. I hope it's just as good as the first one because the first one was so funny. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody too. Sometimes all it takes to change the galaxy. I don't think the closed captioning had to do with her accent. I think it was legit broken because it was like translating the words properly, but the letters were mixed up. And he has a thick accent, so. Leave immediately. This area is now under TDO jurisdiction. They think there was a vault key being kept on the station. If we can find whatever's in that vault before TDO does, so it's new characters? We can change our lives. Like really bad. I hope they bring back some of the first game characters. Oh my god. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can. But more importantly, we'll be drowning in. Are you people like this? <laughs> Yay! If you Wee. happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh, yeah, don't worry about them. I'm so excited! I've never played Borderlands, like the actual games, but I played Tales from the Borderlands and it's so funny. Please play it if you can. About a species that survived millennia. Homo neanderthalensis. Homo rhodesiensis. Homo erectus. All of them wiped out. What by this? The species of all. Us. I am Astrid. This is the new Astrid Alenia. is such a badass name, dude. If I ever met a woman named Astrid, oh, she'd have to be like a goddess. Astrid is such a powerful name. <laughs> it might be Dying Light because they said they were showing Dying Light uh, DLC. I haven't played two, but I heard it was pretty good. 
Every day you fight for survival, but today you fight for glory. Anyone can be a warrior. What makes you different is the spirit of a champion. Let out the pain. Ah, I called it. Wow, that's so cool. I would not have guessed Dying Light. That looks really neat. I feel like Dying Light is one of those like sleeper hits where like it's not like super talked about, but when you do play it, it's amazing. And I never beat one, but Red Bull gives you wings. Anyways, <laughs> I never play I never beat one and I never so played two, but I heard they're really me. good. <laughs> Excuse me. Skull and bones. <laughs> Did someone say skull and bones? Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, I don't think this is skull and bones actually. Never mind. I <laughs> take it back. Never mind. I d never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It looks like civilization pirates. <laughs> never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What the hell is that mask? I thought I was gonna say Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Are these... I think they're running ads. I think these... I think they're on like an ad break. <laughs> I just realized. Raid Shady Dady. Raid Shabo Babbins. Oh my god. That voice is basic, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I have goosebumps. Talk again. I'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs> God damn, what a voice, dude. <laughs> I knew it. This trailer is really cool. It's nice to see some more colorful trailers. Like, I'm really sick of, like, gritty trailers that are, like, all bast in, like, green or brown or whatever. It's so boring looking. What if one of them took off their helmet and it was just, like, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> that they have the exact same idea! What? What if it just went like in a completely different this direction? Saturday, the Gamescom Awards will be handed out to the winners of the best games on the show floor. Only submitted games showing at Gamescom will be eligible to be nominated. And the awards will be streamed on all Gamescom channels, so make sure to tune in. But tonight, I'm allowed to hand out four awards. I'm very, very excited about There's that. There's awards? And I would say, let's jump straight I have not been paying attention. Starting with the most wanted PC game. Here are your nominees. Cyberpunk. <laughs> oh, ones that aren't out yet? Metal Hellsinger. System Shock. Warhammer 40,000 Darktide. You know people in the chat are going to roast her for saying Warhammer 40,000. All the gamer Hellsinger. boys are going to come out and, and be like, Um, actually, it's called Warhammer 40k. Producer at the Outsiders, the stage is yours. Thank you so much. Wow, this is a lot of people. Uh, I was practicing... I haven't heard of any of those. Of course, you know, when it's... Uh, <laughs> um, actually. Right now, you blank. Um... But I want to say that I am honored to receive this award on behalf of my team. The team behind Metal is an am amazing bunch of people that I'm so lucky to be working with every day. And the truth is, making games is super hard. When I started out, I don't think I really realized how hard. And what I learned is that focusing on compassion 
kindness Aww. and empathy just as much as any other craft in games would be the key to successful game development. And it's precisely those qualities that my team possess and why I'm so privileged to be working with them every day. I, I love, love her. I miss you so much. So <clears throat> what I want to say to you, my industry friends and colleagues, is treat each other with heart, kindness, and respect every day. Make games with humanity. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. And Jeff, back to you. I agree. Thank you, Mally. Well, the world I premiere agree. train keeps going. It's <coughs> world premiere. Sonic yeah. and Sonic Hedgehog fans out there. What? We got Sonic? Good year with the uh, Sonic <coughs> movie, which was a ton of fun earlier this year. Well, Sonic Frontiers is in development, and we've got a brand new When do new we get to see Shadow the Hedgehog the kiss a human too. woman? Check this out. I hate it already. Oh, he picked him up. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Sonic's like, watch me. Watch me endanger the world, bitch. I don't care. Sonic in the real world? Huh? Sonic's getting a human girlfriend! I'm sorry, the running makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> I've never really cared for Sonic. I've had a lot of people recommend I try Sonic for the first time, but like, I just don't, I don't have a lot of interest in Sonic. I suspect Sonic would make you motion sick. Oh, <clears throat> I'm going to use that as my excuse now. <laughs> there you Makes go. me motion sick. Coming this year, Sonic Frontiers. All right. Well, now another European studio wanted to use Gamescom ONL as a platform to announce another narrative experience. This comes from a French studio. Check this out. This comes from a French studio. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. We leave so many things behind us. Oh shit. Oh shit. Objects. Memories. Mistakes. <clears throat> it's weird to see them make a game that doesn't they look like hyper realistic. Time. Touch the bottom and go to sleep. But I guess they're saving that for the Star Wars game. Silence. Voices can only come from the deep. Deep under the waves. They said the name of the game! <laughs> oh, I guess it's not really... Maybe it's in tandem with Quantic Dream because there's goats. another developer with them too. It's time for the goats. Ready for some goats? Goats? No live goats today, but we are here to talk about Goat Simulator 3. We got to announce oh this. Oh my back god, at dude. Fest. And now it's time to see the gameplay of Goat Simulator 3. It's for time the first to let it time. go. Let's check this one out. It's time to let it go. The, the the joke has dragged on for so long. It looks exactly the same. Mm. 
<clears throat> the trailer's fun though. NFT goats? <laughs> Get your hands on your very own collectible goats. No, you don't understand. This time you can be a goat. It's different. This one's not for me, I think. It looks funny, but like... It also looks exactly the same. I have real goats, I'm good. <laughs> Amanda's got the experience. Also, hi, Amanda. Good morning. It's funny for about a day. Aww. Yeah, because eventually it's like you're doing the same stuff and it's, I don't know. Oh my God. Pre-utter now. <laughs> Yeah, November I think you guys are right. It's like a one day type of thing. Everything you could imagine in it. Uh, Gut Simulator 3. All right. A lot of people ask me how I got started in the industry. And what I loved doing when I was a kid with my brother, we would play PC adventure games. And I grew up playing classic LucasArts and Sierra adventure games. You guys uh, Return Monkey to Monkey Island. Island. Let's go. Well, I am so excited because there is a new Monkey oh. Island in development oh. right now. Ron <laughs> oh, I was joking. Is back. You may have heard about it. Return to Monkey Island. And I was joking. Gamescom, I am so excited that we get to announce the release date. Or actually, I don't. We get to go to Stan to tell us the release date. Check this out. Hello, friends. It's your old pal Stan coming to you through the magic of marketing to let you know that your search for quality entertainment is about to bear fruit. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I just dropped the details on you without a little buildup. I want you to see the kind of fine dining establishments you'll be visiting. I love this art style. It was really pretty. Lost. And if escapism is your cup of flavor, you can't. Did she say get lost? <laughs> exotic and extremely remote island. Stay back. How did you find me? <laughs> Return to Monkey Island launches September 19th, which happens to be... It's like three weeks from now. Pirate day. Oh my but god. You don't have to wait. You can order it right now. Before That's so close. Out, something we in the marketing industry call a pre-order. As a bonus, I'm ready to unload this shipment of beer. <laughs> His arms are killing me. Anyone who pre-orders Return to Monkey Island. It'll His arms are so funny. In your inventory. Oi, you missed a spot. I've got to go now. I've got a lot of irons and a lot of fires. You know how it is. <laughs> but I'll be back to steal every scene I'm in in Return to Monkey Island. I'll see you there. Is it a new game or is it a remaster? See the exclusive horse armor item in their inventory, please. Now we go to a new one. No practical use in game and in no way will contribute to the gameplay puzzles or narrative. That was new. Monkey Island. Exciting. Oh my god. Cool. A month away, and I love the horse armor. It does absolutely nothing. It just sits in your inventory. <laughs> return to Monkey Island. Cannot wait for that. All right, now let's turn to the world of Unknown Worlds, the creators of Subnautica. As we've teased, they are here today at Gamescom to unveil a brand new <laughs> IP, and it's a departure from Subnautica. It's a brand new turn-based sci-fi game, and uh, we're going to reveal it. For a the slightly first time different. Right here. Actually, special guest is. Hi, Capri! Hi, Capuchin Poppy. How you doing? Hi, I'm Brandon Sanderson. You might know me as the author of the Mistborn series, the Stormlight Archive, or as the guy who finished Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. Over the last few years... He seems I've like a lovely gentleman. ...and unknown worlds on the exciting project we're revealing today. He seems you so lovely. ...and unknown worlds for creating immersive and fantastical worlds, like the incredible Subnautica series. Asian, no, <laughs> you'll, you'll rile everyone up. <laughs> thrilled to help craft the expansive sci-fi universe Nor. in which their next game <laughs> is set. This secret has been a hard one to keep, and we're so excited to finally show you what we've created together. So, without further ado, this is Moonbreaker. Moonbreaker? Yeah. I thought Unknown Worlds was the name of the game. <laughs> I get kind of lost when it's like a board game. Yeah, when it's like tabletop, that's where I kind of get lost in it. Hi, Wasabi! 
Come on, come up here. Grenades, anyone? Come up here. This music is fun, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of... I don't know. It's not for me. Environments look cool, though. Looks cool, but <clears throat> looks cool, but for people who like enjoy this type of game. Well, Join me from Unknown Worlds is Charlie Cleveland. Charlie Moonbreaker. It's real and it's so different than Subnautica. So <laughs> yes, tell us it is. This departure. Uh, you guys like to kind of reinvent yourselves every game, right? Yeah. So people thought we were kind of crazy for making Subnautica after making Natural Selection. We went from a strategy shooter to a pacifist underwater game. Survivor. That's kind of cool that they're always uh, so working I on new stuff, like though. We've done this before. We, you know, we and not making the same genres, game every time. Hi. But I'm hoping, you know, our Subnautica fans will still come along for playing a digital miniatures game. I hope. Oh, so cool. I know, a Gustavo. He's game. getting so uh, snuggly. How do you translate I'm so that proud of him. Like, what is the game I love him. Game? So uh, we're kind of channeling like a Guardians of the Galaxy or Firefly kind of <laughs> feel. <laughs> so you can see that from the colorful art style we have. Um, so you choose a captain and 10 crew. And you build a roster, kind of like a traditional miniature Cone game. Cone cat. And every Cone unit baby. in the game is really like strange and special and kind of game-breaking. So, um, yeah, you deploy units and you move them around on the battlefield and you get all these crazy game-changing powers, kind of like Hearthstone meets XCOM, kind of. Well, it, I love, I mean, you see the gameplay here, it looks great, and uh, it's coming soon, as we said, uh, in the September, so you're not early access, you're not going to wait long. But the thing I want to get to is the painting, painting of miniatures, which we saw a tease of in the trailer. And you I can you paint them? Painting was cathartic for you sort of during the, the pandemic, right? Yeah, so the painting, I mean, you yeah. can't play a miniatures game without painting. Godfrey, I agree. Oh, you're drilling. lockdown, I Gross. just found myself, like, learning to draw. Oh, just, that's like, so cool. Down, okay, so that's, really that's pretty so fucking neat. Basically falling apart around us. And we really tried to capture that feeling. It, it's not like Photoshop or, like, special technical tools or anything like that's that. That's amazing. We just simulate washes, dry brushing. We've got decals. Um, this feels like you're actually painting a real miniature. Okay, and this is definitely for the tabletop diet. girlies. <laughs> all the miniatures you see painted in the game are all painted with the tool. Wow. So it's That's like, so cool. Powerful. Amazing. Well, it's so Don't cool leave. that uh, you're no. revealing it here and it's going it's playable at Gamescom, no. right? It is. It's here. You guys are the first <laughs> Don't ones to play. Don't step on it. the keyboard. Wow. And uh, oh yeah, it's more <laughs> We're over in the Crafton booth. Okay. Crafton booth. And for everyone else around the world, they're not yes. going to wait long, right? Yes, we'll be on Steam Playtest in September. Yeah. We have a couple open weekends, and then we're going to be launching um, into Steam Early Access September 29th. Bye, Poppy! So Only a month away, Moonbreaker. Charlie, thank you so much for <laughs> coming all the way Hi. out here. Thank you. I know you had a tough My time pleasure. here, but you Thank you, everyone. It. All right, Charlie Cleveland with Unknown Worlds. Thank oh, you so much, Charlie. He's me. Where do I go? <laughs> And now it's time to do another game with a very catchy tune in the trailer. Check this out. Catchy tune. DMCA tune. Let's go. Let me tell you about the friends that invested all they had on a shady site that looked like a scam. It said buy this magic card to play the coolest game and fight against your friends with no consequence. <laughs> what is this? You know what? It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Just Dance is taking such an interesting direction. Bro. He's drooling down his cone. How are you doing that? Wait, huh? Okay, this took a different style. 
This took a different turn. I thought the cutscenes looked cool, and then the gameplay, I was like, oh. Never mind. Ah, Inspired gross. By the familiar story Ew. Of Lies <laughs> of P okay. Is a new you drilled all over my hand. I just got a from Neil Wiz and you guide Pinocchio on his unrelenting journey gross. to become human. Dude, this game looks absolutely <clears throat> great, and we've got a brand new gameplay trailer to show you. And this oh, game okay. is also coming to Xbox Game Pass Good on boy. day one. Let's check it out. <gasps> game Pass? This is for sure Just Dance, guys. This is it. Hi, Buns! Good morning. Can you stop? If you want to give your commentary, just say it. What do you think of uh, Friends versus Friends? Okay, watch the language. Watch the fucking language. <laughs> just dance? <laughs> it's my favorite comment. This one's gotta be it. This one's gotta be just dance. <laughs> Whoa. Or lie. Please just lay down. Like, I'm begging you, please just lay down. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm literally already petting you. I don't know what else you could be asking for. <laughs> too much of you. Please. No, I'm not the keyboard. But I ah. don't have a choice. Ah! <laughs> Wasabi! Wasabi! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Only you can do this. Please. Help me. What is this? Okay, well. Finally, no, we not the stream deck. You ended stream last son. time you were here. Goodbye. The stage is set. <laughs> the light shines brightest in the darkest of times. <laughs> All right, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Uh, please. Oh my god. Just lay down. You can lean on me if you want. Protect. <laughs> please. I missed this whole trailer because you've been messing around. Lies of P. <laughs> I'm 12. I see lies of P and I think P. Dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, you. I'm literally 12. Yes, you. Okay, I think they're gonna run ads, so um, I'm gonna run the ads now before Twitch decides to do it on its own and I'm gonna, yeah. Hopefully this should stop them from running in like 10 minutes. God. Now. You're being an absolute menace, my That's dude. Right. All the fun of games come as available oh, whoops, they're not. <laughs> Never mind. Obviously, Sorry. Well, you're wondering <laughs> that little guy is. That's Epi. Oh no, this and is kind of ads. This is this is missable. It's fine. Future. And if you want to help him, Hello, honey. check out the epic section at gamescom.global. You can solve quests. Imagine if they show just dance now. I just paywalled me reacting to a new just dance. I want to tell you more Dude, it's almost September and we still have no just dance. Have for this week and it's quite a schedule, so please bear like with they me. normally announce it at E3 example, in June and it's almost September and we have nothing. Games, we have no information. And all insights into this year's Gamescom, so please make sure to check that out so you don't miss 
Spanish. World premiere. Awesome <laughs> indie showcases back, featuring the newest, most original, crazy indie games here. No on just Friday dance. At 5 no just dance at Gamescom. CST, and I'm really looking forward to it. And something I'm really looking forward to uh, to, uh, to is, uh, is. I don't think so is, because is, Just Dance has been able to release on time Sunday, every year, even during COVID, which is like and this is really amazing if you think about it. Favorites. So make sure to not like, it out sorry, I don't really care about this. Um, the fact that they were able to put out a game on time in 2020 is like, a f like that's, that's incredibly impressive. It's really impressive. So I commend them for being able to work through the pandemic as well as they have, because they've been, they've been doing great. Are you in space? Currently flying at around 27,000 Her hair. Around 400 Holy shit. Above your head on board of the International Space Station. Today, I come to you to say... I mean, could they at least do some cable space management? Space. Like, that place is a mess. Space <laughs> games you've been creating recently. This place is a disaster, <laughs> dude. Come on. At least clean up before you announce on Gamescom. I love of space exploration in gamers around the world. As we look towards returning to the moon and onto Mars with our ambitious onto Mars, holy program, shit! Hi, humanity's space flight capabilities will be in part thanks. <laughs> There's just the so much space. junk everywhere. Laptops upside down. Perhaps even you will be among us. Do you think she has to like tie herself down to not fly away? Exploring space virtually isn't just great fun. It's having real-world impacts that lead us all closer to the stars. So on behalf of Among Us, Lisa, bravo. <laughs> keep creating, keep innovating, and keep playing. You need to relax, this is dude. Lisa astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti. You need Wishing to go to sleep. Everyone, a wonderful games come. It's nap time, buddy. Space Station. Come on. We Oh, she doesn't. How does she do that? Wasabi, get off the keyboard. <laughs> the dead silence is doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing to say at all. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Just Dance is getting announced at the Ubisoft Forward because if the Ubisoft Forward is only two weeks after Gamescom, I think they would have rather wait to announce it at their own event than Gamescom. So I think you're right. I miss when Just Dance had press conference or er, I miss when Ubisoft had press conferences and they would kick off the show with Just Dance because it was such a fun way to start the press conference. It was so much fun a big party. Wow, that's pretty. Uh-oh. Brave a new world. Survival? No actual game footage, yeah. <laughs> Entirely pre-rendered, especially if it's survival. It's not gonna look this nice. Stranded, alien gone. Oh. Survival games don't always do it for me. I don't know. When we were looking at games for yeah, games Asian, seriously. Live, uh, one of the things I was most impressed with this year is there are a lot of European studios that wanted to debut games here, and also a lot of brand new IP, brand new worlds. And we're going to introduce one of those to you right now, and I think you're going to get pretty excited about it. Check out this world premiere. World premiere. Yeah. What does focus make? It's Dune 2. Sand has memories. The Dequel. Memories of our past. When gods walked this Deck. world. And our heroes stood amongst them. But the gods' vanity grew. And in their struggle, we were cast away. Only remnants. Oh, of Focus made a playtale. Neat. In the sand. 
in the ruins. Requiem comes out broken world. either next month or the month after, I think. Guys, it's not Mario Kart. It's clearly just dance. Like, haven't you picked up any context clues? Let's use our let's use our critical thinking besties. Two point church. <laughs> <laughs> Two point desert. <laughs> Peggle three. I can't do the motion right now because wasabi is on my lap, but I would do the motion if I could. Yes, honey. You need to pick a spot. I'm going to be honest. You need to pick a sp Thank you. He left. You didn't pick a spot. You didn't pick one. I feel like I need to wash my hands now. They're like covered in cat dander. Wah. That's pretty sick, if you ask me. That's a gamer moment. <laughs> Bye, Wasabi. Actually, I'm not interested in this, so I'm gonna go wash my hands because he drooled all over my hands. Even in ruins, we endure. We won't let go. For now, we can stand for ourselves. Okay, they're clean. They're clean. And face gods. Oh, now Wasabi's playing. Damn, this sleep schedule training is working a little too well. <laughs> Alice falling. Brand premiere. Alice Fallen coming in 2023. Now, a classic strategy game that I remember playing in the late 90s is Homeworld. Did anyone else play that back in the day? Great PC space RTS. Well, a brand new Homeworld is coming out next year, uh, and we've got a brand new look at some new gameplay from Homeworld. <laughs> Sorry, dude, this is hard. Wasabi is so, like, needy for attention. It was a simple perimeter scan. Escorting resources. But we were ambushed by Kalan Raiders. No, we're not getting Just Dance today. <laughs> It'll probably be in, like, two weeks. Fighters were no problem, but the missile frigates were a different story. Mm. Clever. One wing used cover to keep themselves safe. If I'm allowed to, I'll definitely co-stream the Ubisoft event because I want to watch. Uh, I want to watch a Just Dance announcement. What if they just like canceled all Just Dance? <laughs> what if they're just like, ah, this is a retired IP. Sorry, we don't make Just Dance anymore. <laughs> Stop. We scrambled bombers. Oh God! <laughs> I would laugh, cry. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> I thought we were getting just chatting today. I did just chatting, like two hours ago. I mean, we're kind of talking through all these trailers anyway. Some of them are just not super interesting. It's not that they look bad. It's just that the ideas all kind of like blend together at some point. And we even grabbed a little souvenir. That missile frigate is ours now. Just Dance Central. Let's get it. We're we're working together in partnership with Harmonix to make Just Dance Central rock band. Hero. <laughs> Homeworld 3 in the first half of 2023. Now, today is a big day, speaking of threes, because it's the version 3.0 update to Genshin Impact, uh, which is an Aww. incredible action RPG from Toyoverse. <laughs> well, today we've got an exclusive new look at version 3.0 and the new Rainforest Nation, as well as a sneak peek of a mysterious ancient Bless civilization you. and settlement that is found deep inside the desert. Let's <laughs> I'm sorry. Genshin Impact makes like trillions of dollars every day. They're, they're going to be fine if I make fun of them for a minute. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll survive. I 
I did try Genshin. I tried Genshin for a couple hours and I just didn't like it very much. It's just not my type of game. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> yeah! I have no idea what's going on. Can't see. Damn. Cool one liner, dude. This is so crazy. <laughs> we can mod Sneaker Knight over a DC routine, but only as a song swap mod since we can't do custom routines. So we could mod Sneaker Knight into Dance Central. I love Genshin cosplays, they're so pretty, but I don't really care to play. Yeah, the outfits look really cool. But the game is so grindy. I just don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of time anymore. And I play games for a living, so I should have the time. I simply don't. I'm the Genshin fan here. <laughs> the way that you said I'm the only Genshin fan here. I'm Little Sia's resident Genshin fan. <laughs> I'm glad you're hyped. I hope that like, whenever I say I'm not hyped for something, I hope that no one takes it as like an attack on their personal preferences. It's just that I'm not interested in it. It has nothing what to do with beautiful what you guys are interested in. Hoyoverse, Cause they also have Honkai Star Rail in development. It's a grand interstellar adventure. Hi, you mean to thank you for the resub. And now thank you so much. New look at the story and adventure. Yeah, I just know it's easy for people Star. to like, hear someone say like oh this isn't my type of thing or this looks kind of goofy and then be like oh maybe it's goofy if i like it like it's easy to like i don't know take it personally wasabi's going ape shit for my hair tie right now <laughs> kenshin in space kenshin effect of five people. This region Three drops tonight. You probably won't see me for a while. That's fair. I respect it. Not one of them. Jin Yuan. <laughs> you are one of them. I think... Sorry, this is extremely off topic. I think I kind of want to make a bingo for... Just this Dance announcement for Ubisoft uh, Forward in September. I think I want to make a bingo and put like all the things I want on it, like dark mode and like, I don't know, uh, meme song announced or something. Like, I, I think bingo would be kind of fun. I think that'd be pretty neat. And then just like randomize it for everyone. And here are your nominees for the most wanted Microsoft Xbox game. Did she say ABBA? All right, we're doing bingo. The pictures, the <gasps> oh, they're announcing more about this tomorrow, I think. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see Kelsey. Devil and Me. Me and Asian are like, let's go. I think we both agreed to play it together, so I'm just and like, whoop. the winner is the last case of Benedict Fox. And here to accept the award is Bartek Leshyakov. I just sit here like, okay, well, it's not Dark Pictures twist. Anthology, so. Congratulations. Thank you. It's uh, quite of a shocker for us. Uh, we just love uh, good Metroidvania <coughs> games, and uh, we are working hard on uh, making Benedict Fox just that. And I would like to thank uh, Xbox team uh, for their support and uh, Rogue team for being the best publisher ever. And especially, I would like to thank my team uh, in Krakow. They are crazy I would be so nervous talking on a stage like this, dude. The award, but, uh, their hands make the game. I'd be peeing myself. Thank you. Me neither, Asian. I'm so excited. Again, Yay! And Jeff, back to you. Thank, thank you very much, Melly. Uh, anyone here a fan of Justin Roiland? Rick and Morty? <laughs> well, he's got a brand new game which you may have seen at Xbox's show in June called High on Life. It is coming to Xbox and Game Pass in December. And they oh, want to send no. us just a great gameplay. That clip. was awkward. 
<laughs> you're gonna enjoy this. Uh, talking guns in a boss fight, and that's oh, all I'm that was to set this up. I think <laughs> that was cool. painful. This is a trip. Check this out. World premiere. He I said just. I got excited. <laughs> just dance. Justin dance. Oh my god. Oh, this is where um, this is where Zoe used to work. I squanch. Is this a Rick and Morty game? No Rocksmith compact. <laughs> Sorry. They did announce the new Just Dance though. Um, it's entirely online and you have to buy every song individually for $8. Uh, and um, they removed it from all consoles except the Switch. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> Thank God. You can still use me if you want. <laughs> and Sneaker Night is the only song, exactly. <laughs> you can buy Dua Lipa songs as NFTs. What the fuck? I want it on Stadia. Isn't Google like dissolving Stadia? I thought they were giving up on it. <laughs> no? Oh. I thought they were like getting rid of Stadia. This is like not super interesting to me. No just dance news now. Like this is not Laser just for you. This isn't super exciting to watch. Yeah, when are we getting just dance on the Steam Deck? <laughs> it's the real one I want it on. This looks fun though. Although it's making me a little sick, so I'm gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna look away. It's making me making me a little motion sick. I'm the strongest out of all the yeah, this is going on forever, dude. I'm impressed you made it this far. My ex soldiers are extremely strong. Honestly, I don't think they were. We're new at this, and it was pretty easy to kill them all. If I'm going out, no, I think this is sort of like Stardew Valley. I think she's basically done for. I think it's like if Stardew Valley met Skyrim and had a baby. Oh my god, dude, this is making me so sick. That was a that was a terrible trailer. I'm so sorry. That was awful. I feel so mean for being so, like, rude about it, but that was a really bad trailer. Holy shit. What is it? Wait, what are you? Dude, don't eat that. Come on, dude. Dude! You know she's gonna eat it. What? Yep. No! No! Told you. Gross. <laughs> Some of these trailers have me so uninterested. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was in VR, so I think it's supposed to be like, you have to be there in VR to see how cool it was, but I'm like... What a great trailer for the worst VR headset. Which one was it? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, fam, bye. <laughs> I don't want to live the rest of my life with a VR headset on. Fuck off, man. <laughs> oh, Oculus Quest 2. Oh, I see. Which one do I have? Do I also have the Quest? I don't know which one I have. I think I have Quest. I had to make a Facebook account to use it, so I think it's Quest. Yeah, I was extremely lucky. I did not I did not have to pay for it. I got it from an event. And I was like, are you sure? <laughs> you want to give me a whole headset for free? And they were like, yeah, it's part of our event. And I was like, ah! Okay! 
But VR is hard for me. It makes me so sick. It makes me so sick. Hi, Redu. How are you, Sunshine? You selected from among thousands of candidates. Hey, Cutter. To join the Lynx family. You're from Earth, right? This is more than just a job. It's an opportunity. I can't either, Lego. An hour is like my limit in VR, and then I'm like, I need to lay down for the rest of the day. A better place. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. We're just hanging out watching trailers. Bye, Compi. Have a good day. There's something real special. It's a work sim? You don't have power here. You never will. Look around you. We're expendable. I can, I can hear them in the walls. They ain't a tray lacking. What is going on? The ribs of a ship gaze out at the rest of the human race buzzing in the distance. That's when the sky fills up with flames. That's the way things go. A work sim with like a story? I don't know. Hi, City Lauren, how are you? VR is so tough to advocate for because of all the limitations, but it's like the only thing I get super excited about anymore. That's fair. I think VR is kind of like, it's like a new way to play games, which makes it exciting. Like when the Wii came out and everyone shit bricks, it's a new, play to, new way to play video games that makes it really exciting. So I feel like VR is this generation's version of that. I just wish I could play it for longer than like 30 minutes without wanting to puke. This is Game Pass. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They could have showed this trailer instead and it would have been so much more interesting. Why didn't they show that? Why did they show a boss fight for five minutes straight? Yeah, the Wii was way more accessible. It was way, way more accessible. It's not that I'm trying to compare them both in terms of like which one's more innovative. I'm just saying that VR is like an innovative way to play games in the way that like the Wii was and the Kinect and whatever. The Wii was also kind of very bad. In what way? I loved the Wii. It was like the only way my family would play games. Next project is based on the Prime video series The Expanse. Oh. Trailer at the Game Awards to set up the world. Now you're going to get a Interesting. At the gameplay with this behind the scenes clip. Enjoy. I never watched The Expanse. I've heard amazing things though. And Telltale, holy shit. Let's see what we can do. Captain Drummer. Oh. The Expanse is obviously one of those universes that has a ton of opportunity to tell great stories. It looks one so different. I'm super excited about is the zero G stuff that we've been doing. A big part of when we're making the game. Well, they're from Deck Nine. Characters. We also have to think about how can we evolve the genre in any way that will make players excited to be part of I know. Like Dude, I hope they don't get screwed over the way they did by upper management. That was fucking heartbreaking. I know you will. The whole Telltale story is so sad. It's a really interesting thing as an actor to explore some of her more vulnerable sides that by the time we meet her in the series, they've been cauterized. <laughs> because this score drummer, this is the greatest score any scavenger has ever come across. You'll need me if you want any mm -hmm. chance of unloading it. I love watching stuff with snacks. It makes me so happy. It's like the best way to the eat is by watching something else. Exploded ship that now constitutes several parts in a mass. You can move them on. And balancing that out against almost like you're excavating a story, that's a personal story. Those are people, those are characters, oh. and you are now among the ghosts whatever they were doing right before they died. Being a scavenger, pretty dark job. We're really excited about 
how it feels to both play and experience the story in the game. Ew. <laughs> Remember what I said about eating and watching stuff? <laughs> I take it back. Wild to see Telltale and Deck Nine work together. Because Telltale made the Walking Dead games, the choice based ones, <coughs> and Deck Nine made Life is Strange. From one medium to another, here's a film adaptation that uh, into a game, which I don't think you would have ever expected. Check this out. Just Dance, the movie, the game. Finally. What is this? Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> Ew. What the hell? Killer clowns? I've never heard of this before. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so it's gonna be like Friday the 13th? <clears throat> Friday the 13th was really fun. All tonight at opening night live. Uh, now we've got another brand new game announcement from a European publisher for a sci-fi action adventure. Here we go. It's got to be Mass Effect, you guys. <laughs> it's got to be. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. Just Dance Europe version. No America allowed. <laughs> for the best. Until now. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. What the hell? Personal log, sentient contact assessment and response team. Kate, we have an issue. What happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. Scars above. I kind of wish they'd also say the genre of the game. Because sometimes a lot of trailers are pre-rendered, so I'm like, is it a story game or is like, what is it? Now we're going to talk about Gamescom Goes Green, which is an initiative that has made Gamescom the first climate-friendly gaming event in the world. The core event and this show, Opening Night Live, I'm happy to say are 100% climate neutral for the first time, and that's something we all should be very proud of. How do they make it climate neutral if you they're using like five now, bajillion of watts of energy to power like everything in here? <laughs> How do they do that? Do they like pay for it? For the planet are going to give out the first ever Gamescom Goes Green Award to the best sustainability concept from an exhibitor here at Gamescom. And the nominees are Microsoft, Xbox, Yuki, and the Indie Arena booth. And to find out oh. the winner, let's turn it over to Melly. Xbox Thank is going to get it. You, They're just going to hand it to Microsoft. Yes, the winner of this year's Gamescom Goes Green Award is Yuki. I'm and honestly Yuki's shocked. <laughs> is Dr. Joe Twist, CEO I'm honestly Yuki. shocked. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gamescom, for this wonderful award. It's brilliant to be recognized. Thank you to the Yuki team who works so hard every day to be greener. Uh, and thank you to the UN's Playing for the Planet Alliance for inspiring us to change. You know, it's so fantastic to see these amazing game worlds that we're going to play. Oh, the carbon the offsets? Year. But, you know, I didn't know John Oliver had an episode on carbon offsets. To live on. And we only have one lifetime 
to make a change and to protect that planet so that we can continue to play our games. So everybody, whether you're a player or a business, can make one small change starting tomorrow and together we can play more. Or we can hold together. corporations accountable who are responsible for 80 much. to 90 percent of, <laughs> of our environmental change. Or we keep, can pass legislation and not put it on consumers. I wish they had spent that time talking about what Yuki does to make a change. Like, what do they do that's environmentally friendly? Awesome. Thank you very much, Melly. Congratulations to Yuki. Uh, we have to solve it with video a games. Brand new game from a new studio of industry veterans working on an ambitious new RPG. Here's the first tease. <gasps> RPG time! Really pretty games. Oh! Uh, oh! What? Uh, hello? I'm... I'm here. I'm here. Something Wicked game sounds so familiar. There exists two lies. One before the shadow. And one behind the eye. Why does that sound so familiar? Hmm. I feel like I've seen people say that, like, a lot of industry veterans went to a different studio that worked on big RPGs, so maybe it was this. I wish I had more information, because I you had me at, you had me at RPGs. Lots of news here at Gamescom. All right, let's talk about Xbox and Age of Empires 4 that continues to expand. Now we have news on the next blockchain can solve global warming. Free DLC. If you want to learn more It'll about do it. what's happening with Age of Empires 4, tune into the Xbox booth stream for developer interviews on Thursday. But right now, here's the oh, announcement thanks, Age of Empires 4. Age of Empires 4, let's go! I finally found something I was interested in and it lasted five seconds. <laughs> Age of Empires just dance! And every empire must find their wow. <laughs> Wowie. RPG industry veterans have been leaving everywhere while for a while to find their own or to found their own non-corporate studios. Maybe I've seen that somewhere then. I feel like I saw something that said a bunch of Mass Effect veterans went to a different studio and I feel like that might have been what it was, but I don't remember. With powerful siege tools and the ability to rally large formations. The Ottomans can keep the pressure on to bring down their enemies' defenses. Oh no, it was called something else. Never mind. It's a different one. Still big news though, because those are incredible RPGs, so. History is in the making. So exciting. Oh my god. Wowie. The funny thing is though, it's like those studios are indie, but like for how long? If that makes sense? Like when does it just turn into another like BioWare or EA or whatever? Time to head to Gotham. Like how long do they stay like small? Exactly. Coming this October and Batgirl, Nightwing, Robin and Red Hood are going to take over in Gotham Knights. You're probably wondering about the story. Who are the villains? I love well, Marvel. We've got a lot to share in this brand new trailer and also some exciting news. The release date is going to be a little earlier than you expected. Check this out. Cool. <clears throat> no, guys, it's Marvel. Jim Gordon never gave up on anything. That's why Gotham City is still here. Hi, Chris. That's why I'm still here. And I've known for a while now that someday, like him, I'd have to work with you. Just Dance looks so different. <laughs> my career, but Hi, Hapa. Uh, how you doing? Prepared me for this. Well, well, if it is 
Innocent brat girl. I read up on the story of Harley Quinn and her story is wild. Like she started out as as like the Joker's therapist. Like she was a therapist and then she became like enamored with him and fell in love and just like went bonkers. That's wild. What a story. A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. Goopy. My phlegm when I cough it up in the sink. <laughs> your help. Your skills. Your knowledge. Your the Harley Quinn cartoon series is incredibly good. Oh, good. A really interesting tale and romantic manipulation to the extreme. Yeah, whenever people are like, I'm just, I'm looking for the Joker to my Harley. I'm like, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that, Bessie. Hope it works out for you. Jesus. Merle, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you. One last little surprise for you. Come to watch the show, Red Hood. Nah, I'm just here to kick your ass. That's cool. I'm looking for the Batman to my butler. <laughs> Pretty good trailer, right? October 21st now. Forgot the All right, now it's time to Oh, I thought they said August 21st. I was like, that was studio, two days ago. Global announcement of the <clears throat> ambitious new adventure game developed by Everstone Games. It's called Where Winds Meet. It's an interactive open world RPG featuring action, adventure, and martial arts set in a turbulent time. Does Mucinex work on that? <laughs> Dynasty. The combat looks really cool. Ew, uh, goopy. Where winds meet. Goopy guy. I'm just, nothing has really made me that excited. I wish I had the same excitement that everyone's had for like the Dune game or the Batman game or whatever. I just don't. Nothing's really pulling me. I'm here to lick your ass. Games have come too far. And so have I. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. <clears throat> I know, I was so excited, Callie. I was like, oh, RPG from industry veterans? And then we got five seconds. I just really wished it was okay in our in like the gaming industry to announce shit when it's ready like just fucking keep it a secret until it's ready because those teaser trailers like they don't really i don't know like the mass effect teaser trailer got me so excited but then because of the way that it was presented i was like oh we're not getting this game for like 10 years it's gonna be a long time it's gonna be a really long time so I, I felt the same with Cyberpunk, like, when they first teased that, when I was, like, I was, like, 17 when they first teased that, I think, or 18, um, and by, I think, three years after it was announced, I was, like, I'm not hyped anymore, because it's been announced for so long, and they've shown us so little, and then it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed, and I'm, like, dude, I'm not excited, this is, it's been so long, yeah, <clears throat> and I get that it's probably for like business purposes to get like sh to like reassure shareholders or some shit I don't fucking know but it just completely loses me yes it took way too long it took way too long and game development's interesting in the way that like your development cannot take too long because then you miss like, your game becomes obsolete. Like, Cyberpunk was developed, started development before the PS4 came out. And then it came out after the PS5 came out. Like, they missed a whole generation, so... <clears throat> it's just such a tough industry to work in, I think. Whatever this is, it looks cool as fuck. <laughs> Oh, 
That looks really cool. Yeah, I felt that way when um, Fallout 4 got announced. They announced Fallout 4, I think, like, four months before it was released. And I was like, this is the way I want it to be. Like, only, sh only announce it and show me stuff when it's done and, like, ready and is not going to get delayed. And, like, you know you're good. Like, yeah. In a perfect world. <laughs> Hi, Pyro Pixie. How you doing? Happy 66 months. <clears throat> So pretty. What a pretty game. Where wins meet. Again, so much. That is to the really statue. Cool. All right. <laughs> Hi, Serendipity. Owen Al in 2019. A very special guest joined me here in person uh, to close the show. And That's this me year, when I'm I told smacked. him that we were going to be back here live in person, he said, well, I got to take part in some way. We won't have Just Dance uh, so this please, year. Uh, uh, Ubisoft is not missing a Just Dance friend, release. There's no way. Kojima. Mr. Kojima? Those things sell like hotcakes. Thank you, Jeff. Oh my god! Hideo <laughs> Kojima! I walked by him at E3 in 2019. He had a fucking entourage. He was surrounded by people. Holy shit. He has a pod? Hideo <laughs> Kojima's making a podcast! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Imagine Hideo Kojima being like, see, the thing about being an alpha male is you really have to flex and go to the gym on the blockchain. <laughs> Imagine. Of course, he's working with Jeff. Of course. If Hideo Kojima told Jeff Keighley to jump, Jeff Keighley would go into the sky and leave a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> that man would fly to the moon. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't he like 80 years old or something? How old is Hideo Kojima? Last year, opening night live, we announced Park Beyond, he is... Living Entertainment, and Bandai Namco. And this year, they've got an awesome. Oh, he's fifty-eight. Uh, for those of you here in person, and for those of you at home, we've got a. Brand I need him to drop a skincare routine on his podcast, please. Park simulation game. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I'm sorry, a Hideo Kojima podcast is like the most. <laughs> <laughs> the most hilarious announcement Here of this entire thing. To inspire you. Be creative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of dreams. But I also never played it, so. Stop. Is this roller coaster tycoon? Stop it. Stop. Is this roller coaster tycoon? <laughs> Fucking stop it. Great job, guys. Oh, is it Planet Coaster? Okay. Potential. Hmm. Couldn't we go a step beyond? And kill them. <laughs> What if we take it a step further and pick up our park guests and drop them in the water and let them drown? Can they live there? Can they live in the theme park? Oh my God, that's wild. What if we caused permanent damage to our customers? <laughs> it's fixation. <laughs> Your imagination. Talk beyond. Coming oh, that looks so fun. That looks so fun. 
So much Dude, fun. when I was a kid and I played Roller Coaster Tycoon, I'd just drown everyone. Theme park back in the day. You can just pick them up and put them in water and let them drown. There's no repercussions for it. Another special announcement here at Gamescom. Not a game, but a concept car. That's right, it's here at Gamescom, and I got to catch up with Oliver Heimer. The Hell yeah, cars, designer. dude. Let's check it out. I love cars, dude. All right, I'm over here at the mini booth with Oliver. A this Pokemon car? Concept Aceman reveal. This looks so cool. What I, the I fuck is this? Well, let's take a look and learn more in this trailer. Huh? What is this trailer? This is not a real car. This is not a real car. There's no fucking way. What oh, the this fuck? Looks so cool. I have so many questions for you, Oliver. Uh, first of all, I want to ask you about this partnership. Uh, a car with gaming features and Pokemon. How did this come together? Yeah, first of all, let's talk about... I want to see how much it costs. Gamescom is um, one of the core events of uh, fandom pop culture. And as it's we fucking real, dude. As we part of that pop culture, we don't want to miss out such a great event. And the Pokemon Company International, and we have a lot in common. We're both iconic brands. And many... Oh, this car. is already it's a car, Pokemon. but there's a Pokemon mode to added to it. And the world of Pokemon is full of unique characters. Mini concept Aceman? So we share a love for distinctive design Price. and strong values. Well, I'm going to ask you your favorite Pokemon in a minute, but first, <laughs> I want to ask how much you about the does it cost? Features. We saw a little bit in the trailer. Tell us, break it down. Why does this appeal to gamers? So. First of all, it's all about the Ace Men's gaming feature. I cannot it's find a price anywhere, playful, dude. As the brand is. The Pokemon mode welcomes you inside of the car. And then you can connect your gaming console to your Mini. And all you notice is a lot of details referencing Pikachu in particular. Yeah. The Ace Men is fully electric, just like Pikachu ah. is an electric type. Ah. So uh, is there an overarching oh, it's a concept model? car, but so indeed the mini, is. Uh, oh, mini no, concept acement. Okay, 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 I see. So it's like not a real car yet. Mini concept acement revealed, price, specs, and release date. No, it is a real car. This is 100% real. Possibly on sale from 2024. Well, speaking of never stop playing, will we see you next year at Gamescom as well? Yeah, we plan to stay in the game and play on for sure. Like we the predicted price the is 40,000 so pounds? Awesome. All right, Oliver, thank you or so euros. I can't remember what the euro else. symbol is. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, it's pounds. 40,000 pounds. That's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like 100,000 pounds. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a funky looking car. What a funky looking car. Welcome to Tersham, a sprawling hive city on the brink. I didn't listen to anything they said. I was just so curious about how much it was going to cost. A convict free to serve the Inquisition in this darkest of hours. Is this Warhammer? It is your duty to fight. Oh, it is Warhammer. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Warhammer 40,000. You can expect no help. You are Tersham's last line of defense. <laughs> but can you paint minis in this game, though? Is the real question. Oh, yeah, Euro does look like an E. You are correct. The battle for Tersham is about to begin. Wow. <laughs> I just want a game I'm excited about, dude. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. You got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with 
no face. Stop it. Did we get just dance? Yeah, we got just dance like 20 times. I'm how much longer you want to be. This is actually a just dance only uh, press conference. You really want to find this. <laughs> no, no just dance. I don't think we're going to get it until the Ubisoft forward. Cuz they would have like teased stuff beforehand. Zoe! Oh, you've been here. Thank you for the resub! Just don't dance. Exactly. <laughs> if it's Just Dance VR, I'm gonna, it's gonna be very bittersweet, because I cannot play Just Dance, or I can't do VR without puking. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. That one looked kind of cool. Just dance, but it's skate. <laughs> and you have to buy, like, a skate controller to be able to use it. Like a skateboard controller. <laughs> I know, dude. Just Dance VR. Gives you wings. And there is Dance Central VR. So, like, it's, it's possible, but... Uh, skate went free to play? Huh? Skate went free to play? I can't tell if we're memeing or not. Ubisoft about to be like, gamers want this. They just don't know it yet. We'll tell them what they want. <laughs> oh my God. The irony though, because like people have been begging for a new skate for years. <laughs> so now it's free to play? Oh my god. This like Morbius all over again. Like everyone being like, oh my god, I'm Morbing out. And then Sony's like, all right, let's put Morbius back in theaters and nobody goes to see it. Wild. Oh my god, uh, military guys. Grizzly white military men. Wow. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm being a hater. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just a huge hater right now. This this press conference did not need to be. This did not need to be two hours long. I'm bored. <laughs> Jeff, show and me now something it's interesting. Time for a final award. But don't worry, there is more on Saturday, so make sure to I kind of like things with Max. You know what? But here Nobody asked Godfiend. Get <laughs> Sony PlayStation game. Sorry. I'm sorry. Dark pictures. <laughs> the devil in me. <laughs> yes, show me devil in me. I <laughs> I'm sorry. One piece odyssey. Uh, Devil and Me said they were showing off gameplay tomorrow, but I didn't know if there was the another Gamescom press conference tomorrow. P. <laughs> Here to accept the award is G1 Choi Project Director Ed Lewis. <laughs> the stage is yours. Oh, thank you. Um, first of all, I'm very proud I can't of my team P. members. I'm sorry. And, uh, we always do. Our I can't believe it's called Lies of P. Our team's name don't know. <laughs> and finally, do you know BTS? The whole weekend, <laughs> okay. BTS in Korean pop, uh, we'll be done they the should have shown Dark Pictures Anthology today. Thank you. That would have been a huge announcement. Thank you. Congratulations once again to Liza P. Thank you so much. <laughs> and yes, that's it from me too for tonight. But before I say goodbye, I want to bring your attention to a more serious matter. The past five months of war have been devastating for the Ukrainian families mm. and UNICEF and partners on the ground are supporting those in needs. And of course, funds are needed. So please consider donating at unicef.org if it's possible. It's and, devastating, um, dude. Yes, we have to take care of each other. Gamescom also supports the development of Antura, the language learning uh, game for Ukrainian children. Antura is based on an app w which was made for uh, Syrian war refugees to learn the local uh, language. And I mean, in times like this, it is more important than ever to take care of each other. And I hope you keep that in mind, not only for Gamescom this week, but way after. Thank you so mm. much. That's it from me. I'm, I'm glad they said something. Gamescom. I can't believe it's been going on for five months.
Great to have you and I us. like I'm only in that Again, position because I'm in America. Go, so like I'm not living it, but God, that's heartbreaking. In Germany, and this next game was made by four students in Berlin. It was a big uh, success on Steam, and now it's coming to four a new students. We've got the announcement right now. Dude, if they showed Witchbrook, I would shit my fucking pants. If they showed Witchbrook, oh, uh, it'd be over. <laughs> I'd poop on stream. Catan? Yeah, if they showed Wishburg, uh, uh, it'd be over. <laughs> I feel like we've been in times like this for my entire life. Mm -hmm. Dorf romantic. I like the name Dorf. But yeah, the times just don't end. <laughs> the times are never ending. Cute, beautiful, now we're gonna get dark. The Outlast <laughs> Trials. You guys excited for no this No more game? cute. The Outlast Trials we showed you It's time to get year. dark. We haven't had enough darkness the last two and a half years. We haven't sense really from the team. And everyone keeps asking me, when are we going to get to play this? Well, tonight, we've got the world premiere of the brand new trailer. And yes, some news on when you might get to play it. I can't with Outlast, go. dude. Outlast, oh, uh, it's, it's too much for me. Oh, closed captions gave up again. Here we go! When you get to play! Can we play this one together too? Absolutely not. Wait, Dorf or Outlast? <laughs> Megato! <laughs> I know I'm back in my hater mode, but look at that pretty face. This looks like this looks like a 360 game. Like this does this looks kind of outdated. I love hater mode. I try to be positive sometimes, but like man, this presentation has been boring, dude. She's on cooking mode, I'm sorry. I could not do it any better. Disclaimer, I'm not a game developer. I could not do it any better, but like it looks outdated. <laughs> Who the fuck is Gordon Ramsay? We got Chef Zio serving birds. I'm just, I'm in hater mode because I'm bored. <laughs> I wish there were more interesting announcements. Are you lost, lonely, poor, confused? I'm all four! <laughs> Let's go! I'm four for four, baby! <laughs> lost, lonely, poor, confused? <laughs> The Outlast Trials. All right. This is made up, for me. a tease of the first release from Embark Studios, which a lot of the veterans that worked on the Battlefield franchise in Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, they yay. Battlefield. Shooter, <laughs> Matt, thank you for Prime Sub. Where Destruction is going to play a key role. What we've got here is a short tease with some actual gameplay in it. The full reveal. I might get up and pee in a minute. <laughs> you can sign up uh, starting now. If it's more military stuff. Of this, check out the final. The finals. Oh my god, that shit's base boosted. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> my eyes can't keep up with what's going on. What the fuck is going on? What happened? It, seems, it sounded like they rendered that video three times right. on top of each other. We got one more game for you tonight at Gamescom opening night live. And this is one we've all been waiting a long time for. Elder Scrolls 6. Go. Let's go. Duke Nukem 4D. I feel like it's gonna be some zombie game or something. Wait, what? Hey, hey, hey. 
What the fuck? I'm not looking at chat because I want to figure it out on my own what it is. But my mind went to beyond good and evil, which it's definitely not. Oh, it's zombie. Let's go, zombies. Is it Dead Island? I think... I think it's Dead Island! Oh, shit! Are we getting Dead Island? Juicy. Oh, we're going shopping! I'm surprised there's anything left, dude. Cool guy. Oh my god! Was the shelf that strong? Is he going back out? <laughs> Hi, Bill. <laughs> How's the wife? <laughs> Yay! So it's an LA! Whoa! <laughs> That's Dead so Island. exciting! February and joining me now to tell us next February. That's not that far off. Island. Great to uh, to have you with us. Uh, first of all, let's explain a little context to that. That was an trailer excellent trailer. Who's that character that we meet. Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here. Uh, so you just met Jacob, and he is just one of our six playable characters. Our zombie slayers have larger-than-life personalities and unique dialogue, which fits in with a very pulpy and irreverent tone, as you could tell. Pulpy. Uh, I see the tagline there. Uh, see you in Jacob hell, fucks so hard. Like to, uh, to Los Angeles in this game? Well, uh, our pulpy tone is kind of a love letter to classic cult Hollywood horror B movies. Oh so we're yes, to set it than in Los Angeles. Yes, uh, sort of the best kinds of horror movies. Gone to hell. Oh yeah, it looks uh, looks cool. <laughs> it's obviously over the top. Uh, I know you're working on the narrative for it. Uh, this game has been, you know, long awaited for many, many years. You guys have been working on it for a few. Yeah, I'm sure some fans would agree with you. It has yeah. been long awaited, but uh, Deep Silver Dam Buster Studios started work on it about four years ago. We were really lucky. We got to build it for four years, up. dude. We got to focus on what. Imagine we having to keep your job a secret for four tops. years. And um, we think we've got a really great action RPG out of that. Uh, so let's talk about the gameplay. We saw the CG piece, obviously, but what can we expect from the gameplay when you show it? So Dead Island 2's gameplay is all about experimenting with your <clears throat> preferred zombie slaying methods, just kind of going nuts. It's a combat toy box of close quarters melee brutality with a few guns for fun. Okay, well, uh, can't wait to learn more. When are we going to get to see more, uh, see some gameplay of it? You want to see some gameplay? I well, think we want to see some gameplay. You guys want to see the gameplay? Can we do it now? How about now? Okay, let's do it. Here's your first look at the gameplay of Dead Island Let's go! <laughs> Hi, Janelle. Good morning. Dead Island... Was it Dead Island that got into that controversy where they announced the game with like this incredible trailer and then the game had nothing to do with the trailer and everyone was like, what the fuck? Dead Island was the, the trailer with like the family, with the kid, I think. And everyone was like, wow, that's the best trailer I've ever seen. And then the game had nothing to do with it. This one. Stand the fuck back. 
It's Looks scary. amazing though. Oh! Nope! <laughs> We've seen worse. I played the quarry, I've seen worse. Jimmy? Humanity's survival depends on the red gold pumping through my veins. Well, sounds like you're the star of the show now. This motherfucker! <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I'm so excited for this! It seems like they have leaned into the whole, like, silly zombie genre instead of trying to make it, like... I don't know. A dramatic story or whatever. So excited. I wonder if it'll have multiplayer. Hell yeah, on the stadia, dude. Let's go. <laughs> that's that's my preferred not, platform. There's an uncut version of that trailer you can watch online if you want to see even more. Alright, well that's Dead Island 2 coming in February, and that is going to wrap up all the reveals for Gamescom opening night. Everybody live, say thank you, Jeff. Uh, it's been a fun show, but before Thanks, we go, Jeff. I just want to say I hope everyone has a great Gamescom. Uh, there's Yay. lots of live streams in the next couple days. Lots of things for you guys to go and play and check out. Okay, here on the bye. Show for, for me and the team. <laughs> Thanks, bye. I am actually pretty excited about Dead Island. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about Dead Island, but everything else I kind of was just like, Fine. I don't know. I wish they had showed Devil in me. I would have been so hyped to see the last Dark uh, Pictures Anthology trailer. I would have been so excited. Hater mode deactivated. That's my secret. Hater mode is never deactivated. <laughs> <laughs>